got fluorescence in front of us. Let's go up for five meters just to make sure. There we go. Oh, blimey, hello. Hello, beautiful. Oh, goodness. Look at all this. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Three hundred meters down. Wow. How the hell am I going to find this damn thing? could spend like 40 episodes looking for the sodding thing which is not exactly what you call riveting content for you guys and we're back up Damn. This is tough. See, I always thought it was a sort of area, the Kush zone as it's known. But... Apparently not. Let's look around here. Where could it be? Where could this fragment be? The trouble is I'm kind of tying myself to the sea moth. And the location of it. because of the depth that we're at. You can react to fragments. Well, well. Let's replace the battery. What's this? Thermal plant fragment. Oh, shite. I'm not going to die again. Oh, shit, I am as well. God damn it. Arseholes. Arseholes, arseholes, arseholes. Yes, you can switch off now. <sighs> There's nothing else really I can have. You can't get the rebreather anymore. 
which is a shame because that would extend the amount of time that you'd be able to spend down there. Hmm. It's a knotty one. It's a very knotty one. I'm not sure on the best way to do it. So now I've got to go and get me bloody sea moth again. I mean, don't get me wrong, the base looks fantastic. I really like the way the base looks. Hello. Hello. I did that once when I was in Barbados. Swum underneath the glass bottom boat, which was kind of funny. Um, so. Yeah. Where to get the moon pool fragments. I just keep dying in that area. Even the tanks, you know, the five tanks that I've got. Still aren't enough. I mean, we managed to scan some stuff. So it wasn't too bad. I mean, let's go back in here. Well, we went in the other entrance, didn't we? Yeah, okay. So we're going to be in this one here. Where resources are. Um, workshop, I suppose you could say. Um, let's see. Won't be in rubberware. Is it in resources? No, but we'll take that anyway, because that's helpful. And is it in titanium? Let's see, Seamoth Fragment, Seamoth Fragment, Seamoth Fragment, Status Rifle, Plasteel, Titanium Ingots, Titanium. Okay. Now, where did I put... Ah, oh, there we go. That thing there. And that needs to go into, I would say... Position two. Let's just put it in position two. So, can we make anything new now? See, that's helpful, but until we get the moon pool, we can't do shit with it. Which is ever so annoying. See, power. No, we don't have anything there. Plants is miscellaneous. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a place where you can look at what blueprints you have. But I cannot, for the life of me, remember where that is. And that's confusing me now. That's just a locker, so let's just deconstruct that. Okay. Let's think about this. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Gold, silver ore. We've got a computer chip. What goes there? See? Radiation gloves, radiation suit, fins. Is it not possible to improve things? To upgrade stuff? No, not beyond what we've got already. That I can see anyway. Which is rather frustrating. Now we're okay for quartz and teeth there. Salt's fine. Got some... I need to say grapevine, it's creepvine. And obviously our... Uh, can we put any more creepvine in there? Yeah, we can put some more creepvine in there. So let's take that out. Well, no, we can't because we can't even put it in our inventory. I sometimes feel like our inventory does need more slots. Or at least the tanks need to maybe take up two slots rather than four. But, you know, I can understand where they're coming from. Look at that. Picked up first aid kit. There you go. Very good. First aid kit constructor. Okay. So... Let's think about this, which reminds me actually to, what do I need to build signs? Okay, that's medical kit. Oh, there we go. Two titanium to build that. Okay, let's do that. Let's go and get some titanium and build an outworld communicator, because that could possibly progress the story a little bit. 
titanium. Hello. But we need to get rid of that and that and get that, that and that. And then go there. Communications relay. Here we go. Where are we going to put you? There we go. There. And there you have it. One communications relay. Okay. You never know, we might get lucky. We haven't got lucky so far, but you know, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Okay. Right, let's think about this. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Well, that was it, signs, wasn't it? A sign, copper wire. Okay. Let's go and get some. Which one? Uh, silver ore, no. No, no, no. That'll be in resources then, won't it? Yep. So we'll grab a few of them. And then we'll make some electronic. Up a wire. And we need two of those, okay. So let's get some more of that. Okay. Get rid of that. Put one in there like that. And then go for another copper wire. There we go. Thank you, copper wire. So we'll get our second copper wire in, and then okay, not sure what lead plate, bleach, of course, magnesium, plastic ingots, waterproof. Okay, right. What the hell was I doing with the copper wire again? I cannot for the life of me now remember. Uh, do you hate it when the brain dies like this? Oh, that was it. Signpost. Okay, so if we come into here from there, that's what we're after. And we'll put it, where is it, about here? Or should we put it? Hmm. Like that, maybe. Did I not pick up the goddamn copper wire? Was I really that stupid? Yeah, probably know me. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Here we go. Um, lab. Go. So put that off. There we go. Lab. So in case anyone's coming in here, oh look, it's the lab. Hello, lab. So this is where we do our work. Hold E to deconstruct. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. A dearth of batteries. Some other bits and bobs as well. 
let's put back into our electronic section that because we don't need it right now power efficiency module upgrade hmm. I wonder let's just think about something here go to our manufacturing doodah up the top Mobile vehicle bay, yay. Come on. There we go. Oh, is it, stu is it doing this shit again? Yeah, it's doing this shit again. Okay. So let's go back down here and sort our mobile vehicle bay out again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So we'll get rid of that, 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 and that. I deal with this slightly buggy device okay. okay oh god what's going on there there we go can I not pick it up anymore Thank you, you stupid program. So what we'll do is we'll put it right in the center here and let it float up. Hello. Off she goes. Then we. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh dear. Come on. Nope, can't even get on it. Wonderful. I would really not like to have to start the game again. I don't want to climb on it, I want to pick the fucking thing up. Because it's, it's partially underwater, that's why. Yeah, that's where the menu's supposed to be. But it's not showing up. Gonna have to look on the forums to find out if there's a way to unbug it. Because at the moment it means it's essentially it's useless. I can't build anything with it, I can't improve, can't build modules. But 
Very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Every time there's the mouse cursor, and I'm not actually on the device, and I can't pick it up. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> 